Good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Roberto Minucci, and today I want to introduce you Naples Central Station Railway Project. Um, I'm, I'm very, very glad to be here today. I want to thank Graphisoft Poland uh, for inviting us. I come from Italy, and I work for Minucci Associati as my family company. Minucci Associati is a great engineering and architectural company specialized in open beam technologies. We constantly look for more efficient ways to manage the entire life cycle of building from design from to the construction development and after the maintenance. We understand the beam as an industrialization of the building process according to the open standard of Building Smart International. I'm one of the 11 Italian Building Smart counselors, and um, as everyone used Building Smart standard uh, in this room, can you write one, two? It's free, eh? You, you, you can write your hands. Okay. <laughs> Builder Smart is worldwide authority driving the digital transformation of the built asset environment through creation and adoption of open international standards for infrastructure and building. Last year, just like my colleague Lux, uh, we won an important international award for reparation and maintenance using open technology with this project, with Naples Central Station project. The station is one of large stations that we have in Italy and uh, is the main station that we have in the south of Italy. More than 150,000 people travel for the station daily and more than 480 trains transit there, so the scope of the project was to apply the rest of the main Italian train station, the goals that we achieved. Okay. Mm. Uh, the main goals uh, we had were evaluation for um, prototype and application development for, mass, for smart device, facility and property, safety, managed directly from CDE, critical issues, issues sorry, and solution in CDE management, and methods for HIM asset information model generated and update. This goals, this goal that you can see, were used to maintain the asset information model update, not only for this station, but also for the rest of this Italian railway station. RFI, uh, my, my, my clients, RFI is the Italian railway and the station's owner, public owner. RFI are more than 2,600 stations in Italy. Uh, so, uh, I, in order uh, to better understand the clear issue and solution for dealing with the CDE and its management, and they apply this to facility property, the security and safety, and manage directly from CDE. A secondary goals we established, for example, uh, to understand better how to operate the survey and how to update the model and how to align the management system and the model. Everyone here should know the uses of BIM, I hope. The University of Pennsylvania catalogued more than 25 uses, and one famous BIM expert, the name is Sukar, identified more than 100. So, the first thing we did was identify the BIM uses for the project. This phrase is very, is very important for me and for my company. Begin with the hand in the mind. Begin in, with the hand in the mind is very, it's very important. Uh, we established this analysis and reconstructions, maintenance, management, and BIM perspectives, asset management and BIM perspectives. So, okay. Here we can see the main point cloud of the session that we surveyed. The total of the point cloud it's really, really large, uh, something like 40 hectares. You can imagine we have a lot of issues 
uh, to look and to manage it during the process, during the, the session, the, the session where we uh, complicate the survey data by drones, we complied, sorry, the survey by that, by drones and by uh, three or four laser scanners, I don't remember the exact three numbers, but uh, many laser scanners. And then we defined a point cloud with the orbital picture, we were able to have a real situation as it was. Now, uh, uh, we, this is a video, this is a, a video, we use different software to manage the survey data. Software uh, like uh, a Leica True View, Cloud Compare, another Italian software called Smart City 3D to work with, with the point cloud, and yes, of course, obviously, uh, Graphisoft Archicad. Then we had to the model the session, but before we had to deal with the point cloud, which were really complicated. The point cloud was so big because this was a dispersion of information. We have to deal with the disparity of information in the point cloud. The point cloud is made from consecutive uh, laser scanner uh, put together. This is shown in, in the next video that I'll show. And after, this is the, the grid, the big grid. This is the asset partition by a degree criteria that formed the basis of the layout for asset management. Let's go. Now, uh, I want to show you a short video that represents the process of surveyed data management. When scanning, each scan can acquire points that are really distant from uh, you are. So uh, you have to reassemble everything together and the result is enormous point cloud that is really difficult to manage. With the client, we decide to partition the point cloud using a criteria. So we defined with them, and so we cut this portion in a way that in the future we could substitute each portion when something changed or something important was changing. As you can see, the small cube. So, uh, also, this partition are easy to manage during the model phase. We divided the big point cloud in a small cubes by criteria, uh, as, you can, as you can see in this, uh, in this video. Okay, next step. Next step uh, was classification analysis. We studied the asset, including mode, that the RFI had their positions. They have a really great experience in their field, about uh, consider that they started about uh, 200 uh, years ago. We did a lot of work with them in order to identify the main IFC classes, and then we defined the hierarchy uh, to asset. As you can see, NAC, NAC is Naples Central Station, and after building, this is the hierarchy, the building, the level, the system, to arrive directly to a single equipment. Okay. Okay, the next, perfect, is, is another video. The next, we defined the reference data library. Every equipment, every element we modeled, we also insert the information we classified. For example, a, a burner. The information about the types of elements were inserted in a standard IFC way, of course, in a, only in IFC. Every element had its whole piece of attributes that were necessary to the maintenance during the life cycle of the element, and then elements were inserted in the model in their specific, in specific sorry, real position. I'll show, I'll show you later in, a, in another video uh, the, the way. Other slide, yes. <laughs> then we acquired the data and documentation from the client. Uh, as you can imagine, the, the documentation uh, uh, was largely mm, disorganized, uh, something missing uh, because the age of the session, my, I think that uh, the, is the, the most case in, <laughs> in the world. 
Uh, we arrange the architectural data and the equipment and the map and the house build layout and after uh, we organize classification systems so we were able later to insert everything in Achidat into the CDE. Perfect. This represents, uh, uh, no, I want to introduce the CDE, this is the, the, that, uh, that we choose. It's an Italian CDE that was completely customized uh, for your needs. The module manages the documentation produced during the project phases and allows the verification and approval workflow. The three CDE areas were work in progress, CDE share, and other one, CDE publish. This represents, uh, this slide that represents only the flexible uh, file structure by federated model. Uh, uh, okay, this is a flexible file structure. And after this slide, uh, this slide show the federated models and the union file the modeling team work progressively using Archicad 21, team more functions, and graphics of being cloud. We started to work with the federated models and the documents for the client together. They asked us to modify something things, so we shared both the documentation and the models. After the approval phase, we republished the uh, sorry, we republished the model. Uh, in the hand, we end a really, really uh, big federated model, the point cloud, and also the equipment that had to be maintained. The result uh, was 44 uh, structure, structural model for the implementation of the BIM uses that we defined according to the open BIM standard. Okay. As another video into the Solibri. Mm. There were more than 12,500 equipments that we identified and inserted into the model. So we made a flexible file structure, the result of which was a lot federated model, some for disciplines, some for areas some for maintenance systems, and the union of them was the model that you can see here. We did it with the Hoban uh, beam. We did it uh, with the Hoban beams, <laughs> sorry. You can also see the result, which is the model inside the Solibri. This is the federated model uh, of a whole model in IC. As you I can do whatever you want with it. You can query the, the model, you can look anything, you can identify every equipment that has to be maintained and any property of the model. This is a thermal central, for example, and after mm, we, we will see the, the fully equipments that uh, we insert the inside, inside the Naples Saint, uh, station model. Okay. Go ahead. Now, as the part of the no, sorry, sorry, just uh, to let you understand how are the activity, this is Archica, this is modeling activity, uh, I want to show you a portion of point cloud that the modeler used to model, for example, a curtain wall. For example, thanks to the Archica directory programs, you can see the modeler is able to cast the point cloud and insert the curtain wall in the right position. Every frame of the curtain wall can be put in the right position and is overlaid in the point close so we can be sure about what we are modeling. For example, answer now the, the piece of cutter wall. And after, in this way, what you surveyed it and what you modeled it were absolutely the same. Now I'll put the door inside the curtain wall and this is the results. 
perfect. Then we insert the equipment that has to be maintained. This is just a view of some example of them. Equipment, escalator, etc. Now, uh, this is the hard parts. Uh, who know the pass, the English pass? Most of you know the English pass, I think, or, or, or I hope. Uh, the English pass refers to points to one to six in the left part in PIM, project information model. Uh, in the facility area at the point of endover uh, to uh, six and seven, the, the, there is endover, endover point. Uh, the um, endover point we can consider, we can consider the model and the facility at time zero. At time zero, we have the model and we have point cloud from survey, so we have an exact starting point. From this moment, everything had to be aligned. We considered this point as the point of maintenance. The point of maintenance. Regarding the accounting rules, it was important to establish who was the master for each updating action and who was the slave. Only the master had the privilege to modify the model and the associated database. The master writes while the slave reads or advise the master of eventual modification. This um, guarantee uh, that the information is all, always unique. In this way, we can have a major maintenance work or minor works, and physical change are done or modeled by the master. When we started a new project and uh, we had to remove something, we had to substitute the, the portion of the model that we changed and also the corresponding portion of the survey. Now, this is other, other video that uh, we created by Archicad. For example, uh, this video regarding location code, Archicad is able to extract directly and automatically information like the location code, the zone. The location code is a position of element in a specific zone, as you can see in this, in this video, in this presentation. We are in 3D viewer of the Arturing program. This element is a extinguisher that could be in a specific area and it had its initial location code. Using Archicad, we could move it into the other areas thanks to the script that we made it's automatically update its location code. As you can see in this video, the function works both 2D and 3D, recalculating automatically the location code. This process is highly important because we can visually realign the system automatically. Initial location in 2D, and after, after the change, in, a, in another zone, in a green zone, you can see the, the final location zone is, is changed. Now, being 6D, being 6D, I will show you, we structured the CDE and the connection with SAP. It, SAP it, SAP, SAP is best known for uh, producing enterprise resource planning software. This allows RFI to manage business operations across procurement, manufacturing, serf services, HR, etc. In BIM data, in the menu, there were in BIM data, uh, there were a BIM Explorer and object management. In the BIM Explorer, we used an application model that allowed the graphic management of the highest C models uploaded in the system, visualization, navigation, querying. In the object management, the second, the second uh, menu, the second button, uh, we used an application model for the management of structured data contained in the hot data, in the, sorry, in the asset information model. Go ahead, the planning management menu, the second, uh, allowed to, uh, has to manage three different environments. Firstly, scheduling management. This permits an application model for programming and monitoring scheduled activities of maintenance items. 
Secondly, field checklist. This create on field checklist using smart devices like smartphone or tablet. Lastly, the definition checklist control. This is tool that creation of templates for the checklist. The last one. Okay. Another one, in the hidden labeled intervention request management, we have an application module to require, man manage, assign, report, and control the maintenance activities on requests or month, func month functions. Sorry for, sorry for my English. Another one, another one menu, documentation management regarding the technical documents. We have an application module for, create, for creation and management or schedule of periodic technical documentation that must be produced by the contractor. And delivered to the client instead in the management of the upload of technical doc documents, we have an application module for contractors upload of the periodic technical documentation is is, is, is responsibility. Uh, this is two video. This is a video. Here we, we can see the BIM Explorer module that inside the CDE that allows to see the ISC property of each element. The CDE information and the information on, this, on the SAP are joined together as you can filter everything in it. In this way, you can search and find an element, the location code or equipment by filtering the property. Okay, this allows the user to look the scheduling jobs and export them into the Excel file. Go ahead, next step, another video. The next step was to create a job request. Perfect. This is a job request for Naples Central Station. The job request has a procedure that has to be followed. At the beginning, there is the job request that you can insert. This, this can be identified directly in the model, uh, but can also be associated with the specific equipment that has to be maintained. You can find the element directly with the Unicode. There are many other steps that depends on the kind of maintenance requested. The maintenance could be done directly or it may need an approval phase. If you need an approval phase, this must be approved and afterwards the maintenance service will uh, schedule the activities. When the activity is scheduled, we will follow another procedure to approval the activity. This is programmed on site by using directly an app or smartphone or tablet, as you can see in a, in a moment. This is the, dia the, the diagram, and this is the app that we created. It can, uh, it can start the operation of maintenance so the controller can check what he or she is maintaining. The element is scanned directly on site, and the controller can see who is doing at wo that work at the moment. At the same time or later, the customer services can approve directly the interval that was done and put the date of approval and insert the document directly in the moment in the model. Sorry. After this video, I want to show you a, a resume video that uh, show the entire Naples Central Station project in a, in a few minutes, in a five minutes, that uh, show the. Uh, capability that uh, uh, IFC and ARCHICAD uh, produce. For, for example, you can export uh, a file, the name is uh, KMZ, and uh, that you import uh, your model directly on Google Earth. Okay, start the video. The audio, please. Naples Central Station receives around 150,000 people and 400 trains every day. The station is of crucial importance within the Italian railway system. Through the 
Graphisoft authoring program used to carry out the entire project, we have exported the whole 3D model in KMZ format, uploaded on Google Earth from where it is easily visible and easily explorable. Firstly, the whole area was surveyed using laser scanners and orbital pictures. Despite it being a pilot project, it presented many of the characteristics of a typical large-scale project. The site encompasses five main buildings and extends over a total area of 400,000 square meters dedicated to train traffic, passenger flow, roof, shops, and other services. The size of the resulting point cloud was 380 gigabytes. facilitate the management of such a big point cloud, the site was partitioned in small cubes, each being assigned to a designer. The BIM pilot project carried out for Naples Central Station represents a world-class example of how BIM methodology can be integrated to support the management of pre-existing facilities. In particular, the project tested the implementation of BIM methodology for the analysis and reconstruction of the existing conditions, maintenance management and asset management. The pilot was requested by RFI and supported by Grandi Stazioni Rail Company. the station by comparing and combining the survey data, the existing drawings, and the census outcome. All the input data and the output models were organized in a common data environment, also known as CDE. ARCHICAD program, the use of teamwork functions and BIM Cloud, we have federated 44 models, importing them into the Solibri software in IFC format. All the data fields of the equipment are complete of all necessary information. authoring tool was then set to automatically calculate and update component properties, such as location code. Within the station complex, around 12,500 components need regular maintenance, including electrical, HVAC, hydraulic, and safety and security systems. Once the mapping between ARCHICAD and IFC was established, the models were exported in IFC and imported in asset information model of the CDE. The assets 
managed by the customer were automatically recognized in the models and reconciliated with both the equipment and locations managed in systems applications and products in data processing, also known as SAP, as well as the components recognized by the census. The 2B processes are further supported on field through the use of a mobile application directly connected to the CDE and allowing remote access to its data. In this project, there have been 300 real equipments connected to their twin virtual objects, which have been included in the 3D model by tagging them with a barcode. The asset information model, properly linked with existing information, was then exploited to support maintenance processes. Given the extent of the site, the complexity of the models and the numerous processes potentially performed, the BIM pilot project for Naples Central Station indeed represents a pioneer project in the field of BIM for asset and maintenance management. Okay, this is dry representing the process that we created, but uh, we haven't time to speaking about it. Uh, so I hope the in the next presentation in, in Poland, uh, I want to thank Graphisoft, uh, Graphisoft Poland too, and thank you everybody for for your attention.